So here is how to install a new cabin air filter in a 2010 Isuzu D-Max. So I got the cabin air filter from www.cabinairfilters.com um, Part number CAFA111D Tools for the job Stanley knife to cut a bit of plastic I'll show you in a second 10 millimeter socket and the air filter. First step, you need to pull out the glove box. Um, so in here and in here are two little round um, plastic bumps that are holding it in. So what you have to do, you have to squeeze each side out. It's a bit hard with with uh, no hand, one hand, so let's see how this works. So there we go. <laughs> I'm not sure if you saw all of that, but yeah, so that's the, the point that's holding it in place. Right there. After you have that undone, kind of spring loads back down, and you need to remove this uh, metal bar here, the 10 millimeter socket. And then this here is where we're installing the air filter and cutting. So I'm gonna get the 10 millimeter out and start unbolting. I'm going to fast forward this bit. So once you undo those bolts, uh, the 10 millimetre, the metal just comes back off. And then you have a clear run of the cabin air filter. Um, so what we're cutting is this piece out here all the way up. So what we're doing here is we're cutting that inside edge all the way down across down across and the top one as well so both pieces So that's the first piece out. As you can see in there, there's a bit of bit of shit which I need to um, back and clean out. So I'm doing that's the bottom piece, and I'm also going to do the top piece as well. So there goes the top piece. Um, just need to remove this. Just a piece in the middle and back and clean that out, so I'm going to do that now. So after it's cleaned out, it should look a lot better. There's still a little bit in there that I can't get. But it looks far better than what it was before. So then, next step after that is grab your filter. Uh, where are we? On the top here it says the flow so you got the, the A on that side and the black 
go to the other side on the left and and you're just slotting it in like so the one step before that is to peel off this um, little sticky tape which seals it So that's the finished product. It seals in nice and tight. Voila.